Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 15 mod spotlight. Uh, we are on a new map here. This is actually uh, a, a wind chaser that that uh, Tuff has been working on for a long time. So uh, he's even set me up a little test track, which you'll buy already see. But uh, let's get this started. So first, let's hop in this GMC. This GMC, well, it's not a pack because he uploaded them separately. But oh, he uploaded them separately, but they are all. He did them all together, so for 500. That's the BC Bueller, the guy that did the the uh, Freightliner grain truck. Oh, my path's right there. <laughs> all right, so start off here. See, he's even putting my test track in right next to here. Check out the suspension works on this. All right looked like the Chevy did. We got Dave Bowie there. Wow, look at how clear that looks. <laughs> oh. Ugh. See, he's even added in grain in two small fields so we can uh, harvest corn and all that. Test out some combines. Turn radius. This is what everybody says this is for. I don't, I don't know if it's how accurate that is or not, but that's what we're going to use it for. Over here. Alright. Oh, we didn't buy. Derp -der. We didn't buy trailers for this. This one. And where is our gooseneck set? We'll just buy this one. Oop, I missed the track again. Uh, let's go. Let's park this out here. Yep, they're about accurate. We're about the same. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Something is knocking my frames big time, man. 14 frames per second. I missed it again. All right, let's turn this off. Oh, God. You know what, this, is <laughs> this trailer here, man. All right. Okay. This truck here, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. I love it, and I love that it's not just a uh, a Chevy reskin. Like they didn't just do the GMC logo on there. Uh, it's actually GMC. Pretty awesome. Um, I love it. I love it. There's no major issues either. So let's hop in here. This is the Chevy. Oh, whoever put that on, I have no clue. This is the Chevy. Uh, whoa, 2500 lifted version. He didn't include a non-lifted version in it. It's just the GMC non-lifted. Oh, 
hooks. Shortcut. Guessing this is to check collisions. I have no clue. I'm still new to this. I'm still new new with all that. Oh, I didn't put the parking brake on it. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, I can just push that down in there. <laughs> oh, interior. Same ones we've been seeing. They're all going to be identical. Um, this one I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 also, but I do have a complaint on the speed. It seems like when you you know, you know just tap it, you, you floor it. Uh, so that's, that's a little bothersome to me, but nothing that affects the game. Or affects the effects that come, you know, like, oh my god, this sucks. And all, they all do have the UV air, or was it UV air texturing or whatever they are. Oh, this one doesn't. The two dualies do. I thought that because of the scene on the back. Something over there. I'm having a feeling it's that crane that is affecting my. FPS so bad. Oh, oh, can we stay on there? There we go. So this one we're going to do the same, uh, 5 out of 5. I'm pretty much going to be the same all, as all of them, but, you know, I'm going to test each one just to, just to show that they work. Oof. Oofa. You see what I mean by you tap it and they go? Again, the only difference is lift it and non-lift it. So five out of five. And there should be one more. Should be a Chevy. Where's the Chevy at? The crane is destroying it. Now, in case you're wondering... In case you're wondering, let's... In case you were wondering, being purchased. Okay. 
it is scaled to be the same as that Ford. Back it up here, which is nice. I I, I like to see more you know more people using this scale. You see how it it's actually looks a bit. This is an F. Yeah, so they're scaled about the same, which is nice. Matter of fact, this might be more on par with that Dodge, which is nice. Aha! So the suspension on this one works. Oh, it's about the same. I don't know what I did different. Holy crap. This may get like a uh, a Chevy commercial here. For our, th our thumbnail. Alright. So again, 5 out of 5. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome trucks. Um... Over here is a, it's, this one's from Punka Dylan, another YouTuber. Um, I haven't been doing, okay, let me, let me get this straight. I haven't been doing those, his mods because A, he made a video practically saying I know nothing because he misunderstood what I said. And I tried explaining to him and, you know, he didn't want any, any of it. Um, but I saw it. I said, let's give him another chance to see if he's, how much he's improved over however long it's been. So, first of a game, same interior. It's inverted. Uh, no big deal. I do, I don't like the inverted cameras, but some people do. Some people do. Um, there's some people that like, you know, like up and down being inverted. And it's like, what? How do you do that? But uh, let's take a look around. This looks a lot like the buy style of a like a 2000 like 8 maybe it's the buy style before the ones we just tried uh, he has rockstar rims on it chrome's a little you know, a little bit white but then again nobody wants chrome that you can you know look at yourself in the mirror All right. doesn't look like there's windows in it Or he didn't put the chrome or the cube map on it. Because you can see here, like this one. It's got a little darker texture to it. You put a cube map on it, it has some reflection to it. Alright, let's check it. Oh, crap. That's my fault. The... Front rims look like they're in a little bit too far. He also is a pack. He had this one and he put one out with a uh, snowplow on the front of it. Whoa! Or I forget, so he doesn't rain again. Turn the lights on. Do the cab lights work? Doesn't look like it. That ball, though. <laughs> We've 
reverse lights actually that work up there. Let's check check them next to this thing for scale here. It's a little bit bigger, but not by much. So. Alright. Overall, I'm going to give this thing a... Oh. Doi. I forgot to make sure it connects. That definitely a power stroke start sound, no. <laughs> Sounds just like my dad's when it starts up. Ding. Hooks. I gotta see how this looks on this giant ball. This thing is. makes it blush. Hey, it covers it all up. Oh, oh just a little bit there. So I gotta say, huge improvement from that last Ford we did. Um, really big improvement and that's why I made a video saying about how you know he he said it was his first release and you know he was he was learning you can tell he's actually gotten some feedback and actually figured some things out so overall I'm gonna give it a four out of five really nice I love that the handling it's it, the handling's perfect on it just minor little things that need to be fixed such as the wheels I think to me when I'm driving it they look like they're in too far just, uh, it might just be me. I don't know. Um, and the cab lights. If the cab lights could work, that'd be awesome. And that's about it. Oh, did it? Did the mirror lights work? Yes, they do. Good job. Good job. Overall, uh, like I said, just just the. Uh, I mean, not really much you can really say because it is pretty good. Uh, I could use some a little bit more details to it, but hell I mean it looks good all right now that that's done <laughs> I, th I have a feeling this is this is what is causing the frames that's something we didn't check on that other one what am I hung up on this thing whoa okay that's the traffic one I'm not even gonna attempt to like actually test this thing on test track you know the axles look like they work pretty pretty darn amazing That's the problem with with this uh, parking brake mod. It does tend to have the thing shoot up and or shoot forward. Okay, so fold out support feet. Turn this off. Oh yeah. Holy crap, how high does this thing go? How high does it go? How high does it go? What? God. Can we get higher than that crane? Oh, heck yeah, we can. Good night. I wonder if I can pick up something from where it extends that far out. No, it doesn't. But let's let's lower this here, and we're gonna tab to a, the next truck here. I'm gonna see if it if it hooks up.
Now this truck and the truck next to it is a pat that comes with these trailers. Convert it. Arm kind of hangs out there. Wow, this is actually an automatic loading. I wish I had some bales to test it out on. Nightcrawler. <laughs> All right. This truck, I'm going to give I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. It does look good and all that, but it it's way small. Like super super small. Um but I do like the trailers. The trailers uh, are automatic loading. They just they're not again, they're underscaled too, so they they bottom out really really easy. But let's head over here and test out this just This is a crane here. Can I Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Alright, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it four out of five. Um well no, I'll give it five out of five. Well four out of five, because it doesn't I can't get it to work. I don't know what button it is to get it to work. If anyone knows, please let me know and I'll update it. Cause I like I really like this thing. It just holy crap. Can I not get back in it? Um, but it doesn't give me the option for, like, more information. Yeah, it doesn't give me any of that. So how am I supposed to know? Um, this truck is with that other pack. There's a big open gap in it. Look at that shifter, though. Gooses. I know it's geese. I'm just being dumb. Goodness. I, I had to clarify that because I, I saw someone say it's not ge gooses, it's geese. Oh, oh my, my Lanta. No, not in the Chevy commercial. So yeah, I'm gonna give that, that this pack overall four out of five. Uh, the trucks are way underscaled, but I do like that it's auto loading. Uh, and it, I mean, it comes with a lot. It's just these trucks got a lot of work that needs done to them, including the scale up job. 
And then last but not least, we have this truck here, which we need a trailer to hook to it. We'll just go with the in-game trailer. Saves us having to look for one. Um, gosh darn it. Oh wow, interior is really nice. Oh, the steering. It's got that realistic steering on it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we'll give it a 5 out of 5 also. It's a really nice truck. Actually, I think we've done this truck before, but a different color. I could be wrong. It looks familiar. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.